Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Bodywork Pilates and we're going to have another look at one of our How to Get the Best From series and today we're going to have a look at a double hip roll. So take yourself carefully down onto your mat and take a moment just to find your best position, that natural curve to the low back, those widened shoulders, the le length in the back of the neck, the slightly softened chin. Feet and knees are going to be really close together. So imagine you've got both feet in one shoe, both legs in one trouser leg. Keeping the inner edges of the legs, so your bunions and your ankle bones and the inner edge of the shin, knee and thighs squeezing together. Take the arms out wide and turn the palms upwards. Soften down through those wrists and just take that slight corset around the centre of the body, that feeling of, of gently drawing in away from the material of your clothing. You may find a corresponding lift of pelvic floor as well. As you breathe out, so taking a breath into the fullness of the ribcage, as you breathe out, allow both legs to roll over towards your left side, but keeping both feet in one shoe allowing your right leg to stack directly on top of your left. Go just as far as you can without feeling the opposite shoulder, the right shoulder, lifting up. So that stays heavy to the ground. And then as you return, make sure you come to the back of the pelvis again and that your spine is once again returned to neutral, okay? So as you breathe in, allow both knees just to roll to the outside edge of the right foot taking your knees over towards the right side, the left leg will be completely stacked on top. And as you breathe out, bringing it back to centre, returning the spine to neutral, nothing has changed there. The head, the shoulders and the ribs stay absolutely in place. Okay, so they don't move. You don't want to feel like you're lifting out of those ribs. So again, keeping both feet in one shoe, keeping both legs in one trouser leg, keeping that slight corset wrapping around. As you breathe into the fullness of your ribcage, just allow the inner edges of the legs, inner edges, edges of the ankles to stay together so you can see that both of my feet are off the floor and then bring it back to center. And then change. So if you were holding a ball between the knees, you wouldn't be rolling along the ball. You're not going to find that one knee slides forward of the other. Squeezing again, breathing in as you let yourself move. The opposite side of the pelvis will lift. You'll feel that coming off the floor. But again, I've got that right leg stuck directly on top of my left leg. My right shoulder is down. The right side of my rib cage is down. I'm just creating this really nice, gentle, but elongating rotation from my ribs, you might feel it come across the waist into that front edge of the right hip. And then breathing out to bring it back to centre. Do one more to the left. Head stay still, shoulders stay down, legs stay squeezed together. Both feet in one shoe, rolling onto the outside edge of one foot only, and then back to centre. Okay. Now you could just make it a fraction harder by narrowing the shoulder girdle and crossing the arms over the chest. So even if you don't think you're pressing down into your arms, very often you are using them. So let's take the arms away, cross the arms over the chest, still the head, the shoulders and the upper ribs stay as they are, squeezing those inner thighs together, squeezing the inner edges of the shins together, maintain that little corset, that slight lift of pelvic floor, feel that squeeze come up through the inner thighs, and then allowing as you breathe in, the knees to roll over to the left, my right leg stuck directly on top of my left, my, the roll of the sole of my right foot is off the floor, and then bring it back to centre as you breathe out. And just notice, as you go to the other side, whether it feels the same. Do you feel like you're moving to the same range? Do you feel like it's as easy to keep the shoulders down? Do you have to work a little harder to bring it back to centre? This is a gentle rotation, shouldn't affect too many people adversely, but of course, if you do feel you get any pinching, any tension, then give me a shout and we'll see if there's anything that you're doing wrong. And we'll have a, have a little chat if necessary. But hoping that most people will be absolutely fine with this. 
just finding that small amount of rotation. It tends to come out of the lower ribs, not really getting an awful lot around the lumbar spine. We don't rotate very well there. Just one more to the left. And then bring it back to center and release. At this point, you might want to take a little hug in, remembering to lift one knee in and then the other, and then replacing, replacing, rolling to the side, come up. So, have a little go of that, see how that feels, let me know. Take care.